Workforce management should be in everybody's business. That is the thought leadership topic of the month. Let's hop into it. My name is Juanita Coley. I'm the CEO and founder of Solid Rock Consulting. We are a workforce management consultancy. Our unique point of difference is that we take CX and EX and align those goals to the WFM discipline so that you can have culture and efficiency. So thought leadership, workforce management should be in everybody's business. Last month, we talked about workforce management, the team, and the function having a seat at the CX table. That's something that we talked about. Organizations are on this rapid journey of making sure that they are delivering on customer experience. And you guys already know I have this spicy saying that without an EX strategy, without an employee experience strategy, your CX strategy is trash. And that is because employee experience, your employees, your frontline people who are serving your customers, not handling your customers, the employees who are serving your customers, if they are not equipped, empowered, or engaged, then they don't have their wherewithal to serve your customer, which means that your customer is not going to have a good experience, period. So while organizations are in this mad dash to have a great customer experience, they really should be focusing on employee experience. And that's where our genius comes in with workforce management. And so when we talk about workforce management having a seat at the CX table, it's critical that workforce management, when we talk about the table, we're talking about everything. We're talking about your IT strategies, your technology strategies. We're talking about what you're doing in HR, what you're doing in marketing. Now, before you before y'all raise up on me, OK, I'm not saying that workforce management is dictating what HR does or dictating what the technology team does or dictating what marketing does. What I'm saying is that they need to be involved in those conversations because what HR does, what IT does, what marketing does is going to inform and is going to be data. Workforce management is going to have data around those things when it comes to your people. Workforce management is about getting the right people or resources in the right place at the right time with the right skill set. Why? So we can serve our customer. So that department, if you are hiring and releasing requisitions in the HR department, and operations and finance has approved a budget and says, oh, yeah, next new hire class, let's go ahead and hire 30 people. You best believe you want to talk to workforce management to make sure that that 30 is really a 30 and not 33. Because they are going to have the data around, well, how many people actually make it through training? How long does it take for an employee from the time that they actually start and onboard through the time that they're actually uh, considered a full FTE, meaning that they actually have the skill set to actually be uh, uh, for us to start receiving ROI on them. They're going to have those numbers. That is what workforce management does. Marketing, you're deciding, hey, we want to run this campaign. We're going to send this, you know, flyer out or we're going to run this promotion. You best believe you want workforce management to know about that. Why? So that they can have the people there to serve the influx of volume that that's going to that whether that's in you're in retail and that's going to drive re, uh, walk in volume or whether you're in the center and that's going to drive uh, phone volume or chat or emails. You want to be letting workforce management team know and having them at the table, even if it does not change your decision, they will then be able to say, okay, well, if this is your decision, this is what we need to do from a capacity people perspective, or this is the types of shifts that we're going to need. These are the hours of operations we're going to need to be open to handle that marketing campaign. IT, you're saying, hey, we want to bring in this new telecom solution or we want to bring in this new workforce solution or we want to we have this AI budget because everybody's on AI, AI, AI. We have this new AI budget 
And so we want to start, you know, implementing some AI strategies or some agent assist or, you know, whatever the thing is, right? We want to put this thing on our website so that it starts to divert traffic and we don't get as many calls. Well, you best want to let workforce management know that so that they can forecast for the decrease in volume so that you're not overstaffing at the same staff that you were when you didn't have that improvement in telecom or that improvement in AI or that improvement in whatever whatever the case may be. Also, they'll be able to tell you, are you actually receiving the ROI or are you um, receiving the impacts that you thought that you were going to receive? And so when I say workforce management must have a seat at your CX and EX table, this is what that looks like. This is not saying that workforce management is going to drive those decisions, but they can darn sure make sure that you're helping um, or they're helping to help you make informed decisions. And that's what we want to do, right? That's what we want to do as organizations. We want to make informed decisions so that we are best serving our employees so that they are best serving our customers. Note what I said there. We want to best serve our employees so that we can best serve our customers. Because if you build people, people will build the business. I hope that this thought was helpful to you and gave you something to chew on. We would love to talk to you if you find yourself having a CX, a customer experience, employee experience, EX, or a WFM uh, challenge that you are wanting to think through. This is what we do for fun. We would love to talk to you. You can book a call. The link is around here somewhere, I'm sure. Until next time, go be great and let's make impact.